and good morning YouTube another bright and sunny day here in Cheshire in the UK welcome to Simply Diagnostics before we start don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for the notifications you can also follow me on Twitter at PicoFlu on my Facebook page um, Simply Diagnostics Northwich comments and criticisms always welcome if you've got something to say put it down in the comment box below and uh, we'll get a conversation started thanks for watching welcome to another simply diagnostics video today we're looking at a 2013 mercedes e220 dpf warning lights are on with a couple of fault codes stored so we'll take you along for the ride and go through the diag right, and we're using the kts to diagnose this and the two faults that are in the vehicle are p246309 Diesel particulate filter soot impact, value too large, and PO47128, exhaust gas back pressure sensor, offset outside tolerance. So what we're going to look at now, we'll look at the actual values and see what the sensors are actually reading. I've already pre-selected them. The values we've pre-selected are exhaust gas back pressure, um, the set value for the gas back pressure, diesel particulate percentage of uh, soot loading and the ash content. All right, we just start the vehicle now. So you can see the gas pressure there is rising up to about 15 psi something like that and the set value is 17 so I suspect there might be a bit of a leak somewhere as well right so we're going to have a look at this using the pico and basically we've got the pico connected up play um, the blue channel and that's going over onto the exhaust ga gas fat pressure sensor onto the signal wire which is there we've got it back probed in and then what I've also done I've got the WPS hooked onto basically this is the the DPF differential pressure sensor I've got the print pressure sensor um, disconnected from the pipes you can see down there I've got the two pipes and basically I've got on the right hand pipe the larger of the two pipes I've got the WPS plugged into that on range 3 and I've got it set on a 1 psi scale we'll get the pico fired up now get you zoomed in uh, we've got you zoomed in so basically we've got two seconds of time on the screen three million samples We've got channel A on a 5 volt because we're looking at a, at a signal and we've got channel B on 1 PSI setting. So we'll set the scope running and we'll start the car. Right, so with the, with the vehicle running <clears throat> you can see the individual pressure pulses just turn the screen time down a bit and what we're actually looking at there are the individual pressure pulses um, in the in in the DPF at the front of the DPF right so we just zoom out of this now get a bit more a bit more time on the screen Give it one wide open throttle. Stop the scope. And we go back and we have a look. Right, so we drop a ruler down now um, onto the WPS trace. <sighs> and 
Đấy. Peak pressure is about half a half a psi. It's about 30 millibar, which is high. And um, we don't really want to see more than about 10 millibar on one of these at idle. Um, so there is definitely restriction in the exhaust. But what we're also looking at is what the sensor's running at at idle for the exhaust back pressure. This should be about 0.7 of a volt at idle. And you can see it's uh, 684 millivolts. So that's about that's about right. So basically, what's what will be happening is um, the back pressure will be rising um, due to the block there DPF, and it'll be that's why it'll be logging that fault code. You can also use um, Mitivac and the back pressure tester, but the WPS just makes it so much easier. Right, so to sum up, what this is going to get, it's going to get an off the vehicle DPF clean. Um, the the soot loading is quite high. Well, to be honest, we'll give the customer the option. They can either do an off the vehicle DPF clean or we can try and do an on vehicle one using somebody from the DPF doctor network. Um, and then what we'll do then, we'll get some after shots once it's been cleaned of the exhaust pressures and we'll see where we go from there. Thanks for watching.